Alright. Let's make sure everything is up and running as expected. Just want to make sure because we all know how Windows likes to mess with me. And we have exited host mode. Yay! Okay. That should be I say it should be most of it set up and running at this point. At least I hope. <laughs> we'll find out. Hey Wartal, how you doing, buddy? Three minutes late? What? No. Remember, the panda is never late. We're always on panda time. <laughs> hey Demon, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. And I think Space Engineers just crashed. So, yeah, that's a thing. Alrighty then. Alright. So, that was a thing. Let's uh, bring that back up here. Let's try that again, shall we? Sorry for the black screen, everybody. Let's try that again. Apparently, space engineers did not like me alt-tabbing out, in and out all the time, so. Oh, yes, we are up to 60. <laughs> 60 mods on this save. Salem Donuts? Was this um, for the, uh, oh, what is that? The, the new pirate game. Is that what you're talking about? Also, let me know how the audio balance is so that I know if the music's too loud, not loud enough. It's already getting to that time of the year where I need to start thinking about putting a fan in the room again. Sea of Thieves, yeah. I have no clue when direction and sail should not be on pirate ships, even if sim. That's very true, Wartaw. That's very true. So which which uh, which group were you watching play? Is that was that Captain Shack and Way sitting those guys, or was it one of the other ones? Music's not loud enough. All right. Let's see if we can not crash Space Engineers doing this this time. How's that? Let me know. Let me know if that's loud enough now or not. Basically, I want it just loud enough for you guys to hear it, so... Perfect. Awesome. I don't want to be alt-tabbing in and out too much because uh, Space Engineers apparently does not like it. Hey, there's a typo in that, in that automated message. I'm going to have to change that. <laughs> So happy Wednesday, everybody. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Welcome in joining us in the, uh, the stream of Loading Simulator 2018. Haha, <laughs> no, song requests are turned off. <laughs> no jukebox for you. No, actually, it's the Disappear from Sight. It's S-I-T-E. It should be S-I-G-H-T. Mm. 
the site of zombies that is there currently is the location of zombies. So I need I need to get like some uh, some commercials or cutscenes or something. So when we're doing long loads like this, you guys have something to watch other than the little spinning reticle. It's the web address. <laughs> very possible. Very possible. Maybe they are on a building site. That is very true. It's, it could be. Oh. So I'm going to feel really bad about pointing this out. And because it's something that's bugged me for a while and apparently some of the other folks have started seeing it now as well. Look at the little loading icon and look at the spacing on the rotation. <laughs> Yeah, you notice that one of the icons is slightly off <laughs> in its alignment. Now this is something that has bugged me about Space Engineer's loading screen for pretty much the entire time I've played the game. Right. Is that little icon down there is slightly skewed. <laughs> I can't hear the music when someone's talking over it. The music isn't just what they're here for. You're here to watch me make a fool of myself. So this is why I usually load the game before we get into the uh, into the stream because it's you know like a seven minute load or something like that. Yeah, see, I normally actually do start the game um, upwards of a half hour beforehand. Specifically so I can be in the game and have it running so that when you get in there, you know, that we don't have this long loading screen of ridiculousness. The music's over me now. Uh, I was leaning away from the microphone. Sorry about that. It does look like it's a little high. I'm just going to, I'm going to wait for Space Engineers to get into the game before I alt-tab to fix audio because... During the load process, if you alt-tab out, it t tends to crash with this many uh, mods running. And hey, look at that. We're actually in the game. Alright, so let me uh, drop the music down just a touch. I generally have the music volume set at about half of my mic input so hopefully that's better let me know and we're gonna show you what we've been working on because I've been doing some stuff off camera we've got a whole lot of stuff done as you can see we are actually in the ship that we started on Monday <laughs> for the gray bears of so many mods yeah I know right okay so we have we're able to get a bunch of stuff done so we've got you know, one of the bedrooms done. Ah, uh, see, we got the door set up. Automatic. Look, nice, right? Right? Huh? Okay, so this is our expansion area for the ship. Uh, we still need to put in an actual engineering section, and we need to put some gyros on board, as well as getting some of this stuff finished up. But let me show you what we've been working on internally here. So we now have the two staterooms set up, and yes, both of the doors are automated. Uh, we have everything set up. This is pressurized. You actually have this is tied into the cargo system, um, as is the bed in the other stateroom. Keep doing donuts. Yeah. So the main hangar area, as you can see, we've got it all welded up. I've got some lights in here, and we were able to move the mining vehicle in. This is a temporary solution for the mining vehicle. Um, we do need to set up something a little bit more permanent. So I'm thinking we're probably going to do a redesign on this ship, on the miner. Um, not too much of a, uh, a redesign, but you know. Oh, and I need to 
That's not doing anything anymore, but that's okay. It doesn't need to. There you go. Alright. So, if you remember last time when all, this was all framework, let's walk you through it here. We will start at the entrances. The ramps. Alright. So, if you remember last time, everybody was saying they couldn't really see what I was planning because, you know, it was all framework. Well, that's what it looks like now. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> Alright, so let's walk you through the ship. So, basically, the entrance area is mirrored on both sides. You come up the ramp. You have the stairs that is an airlock. We have these being off. Why are these offline? These should not be offline. Interesting. All right. So you have the med bay. And as you can see, you can actually see all the way up there. We have more doors that can be closed. This brings you forward into the hangar space. You come up stairs. You have a little port when you have the windows on both port and starboard. You can have a little view out into the hangar area where you'll be able to see what's going on. You have this little mezzanine observation area. I haven't decided what I want to do with this. I think I'm going to probably just leave it as it is. Yeah, see, why are all of our. So why is this? That is really weird. It reset all of my uh, LCDs. So there's something going on in there. Anyway, this brings you up into the bridge. As you can see, you've got observation pretty much all the way around, all the way up. Come up here, you've got the aft facing deck. You have the port and starboard windows. And then you come up into the bridge. So we now have armored windows because the idea is that if something's attacking us, it's probably going to be attacking from the front. So, you know, we put the armored windows up here and we have observation windows around. Now, the funny thing is, is that these windows are not much less durable than these windows. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we have an armory up here, so we'll actually be able to store some weapons on the bridge. So that way, you know, if you get bored, it you'll have the ability to defend yourself. But yeah, so that's the uh, that's the ship we got going on right now. Looks like a penis after all. Not yet. It doesn't look like a penis yet. Give it time. It will. We have to finish erecting the ship before, you know. <laughs> Alright. So. That is the ship that we have currently. And we're back up here into the residential. And, and like I said, this front portion is actually going to be engineering. Um, but we do need to get some things done. Um, now... I am purposefully leaving the uh, the cargo pods here on the side exposed like this because what we're going to be doing is we're going to I'm going to have this ship set up so that it's a little bit more modular. Um, one of the things that I want to do is put in a, a couple of merge blocks so that we can do basically what we did with the in the last playthrough where we built the like the booster system to get the ship into space. And then once it's in space, we'll be able to jettison those, jettison the booster system. So, at least that's the idea. How well it works, that's a different question. Because of YouTube? Nah. Nothing, nothing wrong has been said yet. Oh, hello. There you go. Alright, so... We need to finish doing the skinning. Um, all of the rooms in the ship are actually 
capable of being fully pressurized now, with the noted exception of the um, entrance ramp areas, because they are airtight. It's just uh, there's no ventilation in there, because we don't need it. It's just a level of complexity that does not need to be introduced to the ship as it is. So, but yeah, so everything right now, like I said, we can seal it all off. All right. Now, what I do need to do is I will need to basically finish the skinning on this side to mirror what we have over here. And then we'll come back through and we'll you know play around with the the way the ship is built to get some a little bit of detail on the sidelines and stuff penis is they you can say penis on youtube it's just how you associate the word that gets you in trouble all right now we do have two bobs in here we have one on this side and one over here the, under this arrangement and I'm thinking I'm going to put one because we have some we have some negative space back in here. Uh, there's some there are some places back in the the workings of this beast in there that we could actually squeeze another one in there. So, but I don't know if I'm actually going to do that or not. We'll see. Because one of the things I had thought about was taking this particular landing gear out. And putting Bob in there because there's actually some uh, connectors and stuff up in there that we'd, we'd be able to access All right. and I need to change this so what did we do did we do one or two spaces on there we did one space and then a turn okay let's go ahead and get this done really quick There we go. All right. Have to keep it looking good on both sides, right? All right, so now for this side, what we're doing is we're basically just doing more of the same of what we've already done here. And I think I brought that forward two more, yeah. And this whole port, the whole purpose of doing this portion is that it allows us to seal the uh, the area in here to make it airtight. So, at least in theory. And what we're going to do to seal the top of this area, we're actually going to use. Uh, hmm. I might ha I might have to build over the refineries. I don't know. Let's see here. Because if we go windows here, window basically have this capped by windows. We say like that, and then we put windows on the top. That allows us to have all of this done. That's going to be the floor. So why did we end up with conveyor? Ah, oh, that's right. We do have conveyors over there. They're just not. They're just not welded up yet. And what we will do here. Oh, need more plates. All right, Let's see if we can get some of this stuff going here. Yeah, just grab those, that's fine. Ship will crash every 30 seconds. <laughs> Probably. All right. Now the reason why I am uh, bringing this so far forward is because I need to have this sealed in.
and you are going to need to be sealed in as well. I'm thinking maybe leave that open. No, 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 let's take you out first. That sucks. All right. So if we go like that, yeah, that might work. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to run the lines on this thing. I don't know if I want to keep that line like that. Let's see what it looks like when it's welded up. Because what we're going to end up with is we're going to have a, a pipe system that runs down here that leads to the front of the ship, which will have some of our cannons on it. Uh, just for ship defense. But I'm trying to figure out if I want to extend this all the way forward or not. Because what I'm thinking here... Something like that on the front line. And then that le that lets us have a uh, connector here, a conveyor junction, right there. And then we run... Because one of the things I had thought about doing was basically mount... Oh, you know what? I might do that. Let's take that out. Don't worry, Bob will pick up the parts. It's okay. Because what I'm thinking here is we do that and then we say... Do I have... Oh, I don't have them loaded. Damn it. Do we have... Oh, we do have. <laughs> what do we need to build this thing? Oh, man. Oh, no, wait. That should be one block wide, right? Hmm. What do you guys think about this? So this is the heavy spinal laser. <laughs> what do I need to... Alright, so that actually needs to be surface mounted. Hmm, that needs to be surface mounted. I was hoping we'd be able to mount this thing like that but it looks like we actually have to mount surface mount this thing hey shades how you doing welcome to the stream okay so that actually mounts that way interesting so that's the admitter See, I would have thought that if we did it this way, it would let us mount this thing. Oh, see, it will let us mount it there. Okay. It's just figuring out the positioning. So there.
<laughs> oh. Now the question is, is which end is the front end of this thing? I'm guessing this end because it's got the uh, sight on it. So hopefully we did that right. All right. Now you can actually stack these things in line. So you can end up with, you know, like 12 of them if you wanted to. So I'm kind of curious as to how well this thing is going to work. Because I have no clue what the power requirements of this thing is. So I need 300, so 600, and then I need 600 bulletproof. Okay, we, I think we actually have the resources to make that. All right, so go down to assembler two. And superconductors. Four hundred gold. How much gold do we have? Oh, let's see here. Hey, look at that. We actually have all of the materials that we need to make this stuff. All right. So while we're doing that, we also will need some ammo made for this stuff. Needs nickel and magnesium, which I don't think we actually have any magnesium. Let's check the, uh, the inventory board really quick. No magnesium. That's okay. We can rectify that. Okay, first things first. I know I have some magnesium on the planet. I've got it all over the place in here. Let's see where the closest deposit of magnesium is. I'm probably going to go with number three so it's away from the uranium so I don't pull uranium by accident. In fact, uh, that is what I'm going to do because all the other deposits that we found so far have uranium near them. And I don't want to be mining uranium. I'm trying to avoid it. I am trying to behave. Come here. Up we go. Okay. that on and that off and down we go so this is basically what it's going to do when we get into space this is how we're going to handle this all right and we want magnesium which is over there so by the time we come back that may actually be built <laughs> So yeah, I've been trying to get, um, I've been trying to play around with the different weapons and stuff that are available um, from folks like Krieg and the Tex-Mex packs. Oh, that's silicon. There's magnesium. All right. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a regular drilling operation for a little bit just to get some ice because how much ice did we pick up there? We should have... Eh, that's, that's about good for ice. And now we'll just devastate the landscape. That's silicon. Don't need the silicon though. We need the magnesium. There's the magnesium. That actually turned into a rather large silicon deposit that I just devastated. <laughs> All right. So how much magnesium did we end up? 134k, 130 or 136k. 
That's not too bad. That'll keep that'll keep us in laser browns for a few a uh, few days. All right. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of the energy drinks are actually, you know, the vitamins and stuff they have in there aren't too bad. It's just they don't really do much for most people. So, But congratulations, Sharky. All right. Now is when we run into the problem of having to repipe some of the <laughs> stuff to get it to to actually run through the connector the way we need it to. And like I said, this the way we have the connector set up right now is a kind of a stopgap measure. It was not meant to be long term. So with that in mind, we are going to go, whoop, there we are. And we are going, oh, first things first, I need to drop off the uh, plates. All right. Let's see here. We want the collars. And then we're going to put in the connector on the end of this thing. Do, 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 do. Hey, Bob already got all the conveyor frames for me. Awesome. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate it. There you go. And right about there, I think. I think that's about right. Oh, it's close. We have the set to switch lock. Now, awesome. So the stone ejector is working the way it's supposed to. It spits it out and we have a little hole there for it. <laughs> it's a stone toilet. All right, so let's go ahead and get this in here. And we want, whoop, we want to run this stuff through here. So we're going to go nickel. I need magnesium. Where's my magnesium? Still in the large cargo container. Let's go ahead and drop that over here. Actually, you know what? Oh, I can't run it back that way. There we go. There we go. We'll do it that way. Okay, now we have magnesium being processed. We have lots of magnesium being processed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're using the heavy mine, the heavy spinal laser. So we're going to create, I don't know, two of these. By the time this is done, we should have the everything we need for that. So <clears throat> Thesrian, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Happy Wednesday. Playing on a server with scarce resources. Yeah, that resources, when you start talking multiplayer in Space Engineers, resources become an issue very, very quickly, especially if you have a, um, a reduced resource spawn. But the more people you get, the faster you go through, no matter how many resources you have on, in the server, I mean, you'll eventually go through them all. So, right on. A lot of new inventions. Yes, yes, shades. We have a stone shitter is what it comes down to. Whoops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, 
it's going to be demonetized on YouTube anyway. <laughs> All right. So you are piped through. Are you actually working? You are not. But you are. Oh, look at you. Okay, we need we need ammo because I want to I want to try this thing. I am just, I have absolutely been dying to fire one of these things. I've been told that the destructive force of this thing is nuts, so I, I really, really want to fire it. Um, you, come here. Please tell me we have enough magnesium for this. Okay. We don't have enough magnesium. What this means, time to rebalance our refineries. <laughs> Because <laughs> I want to fire this thing. Come on, I just need I just need one bullet. That's all I that's all I need. Oh. Yeah, so we were actually, this is the save with the uh, the no uranium Earth-like planet, but for some reason the mod didn't strip uranium. Um, so I have artificially imposed upon myself a restriction of no, no uranium on the planet, like no mining, no processing. The only uranium that I'm pulling is the processed stuff out of the unknown signal type. So whenever I get over there and harvest one of those, I'll grab that uranium. Uh, the only thing I've been using it for are things like the, uh, the little jump start uh, generators, reactors on the ships. Everything else is running off of hydrogen right now. We have the hydrogen reactor mod installed and I am absolutely loving that mod. Moonhead Gold. That sounds like it was, that would be an actually interesting playthrough. So basically, you're 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 stuck with just hydrogen to get off of the planets. Then, like you you have no other option. Then, hell, even on the uh, even on the planet, you're basically just running hydrogen. If you've got no silver and gold. Yeah, the, the hydrogen mod that I'm running is just for reactors. But what I was saying is that you would basically have just hydrogen thrusters for movement if, if silver is on the asteroids. Or was Earth, or was the Earth-like planet, it has all of the resources but uranium? Am I, am I misunderstanding what you were saying earlier? Okay, so it's not piped in. I need to figure out where it pipes in at then. So I thought it piped in from there, but I'm getting maybe it pipes in from the top then. If it pipes in through up here. Okay, so then so the Earth-like planet has everything but uranium. Okay, so yes, it pipes in through the top. Okay. We can still make this work. What we can do is that. Once the first one is done, it'll actually uh, allow us to load the rest of this in. Come on. Okay. Now, this thing should be loaded. We'll go find out here in a second. To the bridge! Alright. 
So, we should be able... Actually, let's do it this way. Oh, crap. I forgot. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> uh, you know what? It's dirty, but it's effective. <laughs> Come here, Bob. Give me a hand with this thing. Come on, Bob. Get over here. All this just to load a weapon for one shot. That's all we're doing. No! Why is it not piped in? Ugh. one of those days. This is why I don't play with experimental women. Well, experimental women. I don't exper play with experimental <laughs> weapons on camera. Wow. That went uh, interestingly quickly. All right. Okay. It's loaded. <laughs> that one might have to be edited out. Um, yeah, I'm running actually 60 mods on this particular playthrough just because I wanted to have some fun with the uh, the different mods. So the hallway and passage mod, nah, hallway and passages mod is basically one of my always go tos. Um, there's a few other ones that have made it in, like the armored windows. We have both uh, this one as well as the one by one armored. But first, we want to see this thing fire. I want. There we go. Okay. Let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, that is. Wow, that goes through ammo quick. Okay. I'm kind of curious to see if that actually did damage somewhere. Let's uh, let's take a quick run down the stairs and see here. And we can just jump out here. All right, so basically in this general direction, right? <laughs> I am so curious to find out if this actually did anything. Because I don't know what the range on it is, so I'm kind of curious. I am just wanted to see if it actually hit anything over here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so what's the range on that? That's two kilometers. Because I think the range on it is only two kilometers. Oh, I need to figure out how to get that thing piped in, though. Because that is... That's going to be fun. Yeah, we're here. May as well. Got the slime suit. I don't think I had that one yet. Strangely appropriate, considering, uh... Okay, fall over. Fall over! Ah, really? Fine. Now fall over. <laughs> I just want to get to the cargo container. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, nice. Did it just... Oh, damn it. It just ground that.
There you go. Not overly worried about the rest of it. So yes, the, uh, the the spinal cannon we are using that is actually from Krieg's uh, inspired weaponry pack. You can get that over on Steam, obviously. And that thing is going to be fun. All right. Now the other thing that I want to do is I also want to put in the uh, the mining laser, which is one of the reasons why I'm trying to pipe everything in but I thought okay so let me check to make sure here so we know that all of this is piped in this is piped in the back to here and that pipes into the bedroom so that pipes in there maybe I am missing piping somewhere let me check here. Oh, this should be all piped in through here. That pipes up through here. So you're piped in. Okay, so you are piped to here, which pipes into there. Can I reach cargo from here? Okay, I can reach cargo from here. That tells me that is actually piped in. Now to check to make sure the stuff down here is piped in. Okay, so yes, we, we've somewhere in here it's broken. All right. That's piped in, that's piped in. That's a building repair. That's piped into over here. That's why it's broken right there. Aha. And I don't have any interior plates. Son of a. <laughs> Wait a minute. We have plates over here, right? Yes, we do. Okay, actually, I think I have everything but the small pipes, which I actually have on me. So I can grab those. Those. I think that's all we need. Yeah. There we go. All right. So now we do one of those. One of those. Get this all piped in. So the bed should now work, right? And for those curious, this uh, there's a sensor mounted above the door that allows that to open and close. So, hey, look at that! It all works. Okay, so that means we should be able to set everything else up then. And since we know that that is necessary for, it just has to be one of those, I think. Go ahead and tie that together so just in case I do something ridiculously stupid. Uh, all right. And that way we know that it's it's piped in at least in one location here. And that is there. So if we actually take you out, right? No. So we do that. 
that. And then we do, we're gonna do a, a single block airlock here. And we're gonna do the same on this side because we only need one of these in place. And we're gonna put uh, windows above us in order to make this room airtight. And that's a vent right there. So if for some reason we need to get in here and manually load this, I wanna have the ability to get in here. So that's gonna go there. I'll turn the light on to help you, hopefully help you see. But because of the way that we're doing, uh, we do that, that's gonna be glass there. Okay. Should be okay. Let's do that. Is that right? Yeah. All right, and then this will be, actually, you know what else I can put in there? I can put, um, uh, what are the gyros? We'll put some gyros in there. Oh, I can't wait to get this thing into space and fire those cannons. <laughs> so this right here is put in specifically to mess with Lucas's ships. For those who don't know, um, Lucas, AKA Meredith, is the uh, mod author for um, oh, Corruption PVE. And we will be turning that mod on um, probably at the end of the week. Because I want to get this, I want to get this ship into space first. You're going to there to there. Okay. And then once we have, once we have the ship in space, we give it a shakedown cruise. We give it, you know, give it a little trial by fire kind of thing in space. We are going to have the corruption PVE, and then we will have, um, I don't know, one of the other um, AI systems put on and running. Right, so, you're gonna go this way. What we're gonna do here is have, actually, Let's do it this way. Sorry if I go quiet, I'm just focusing a little bit here. See, the problem that we run into here is that the, uh, well, no, I guess that's actually not, shouldn't actually be a problem. I hope. We'll find out. All right. And then this gives us our uh, forward engineering section. Now we're going to go drop those out. We're going to grab our gyros. Normally, I wouldn't put gyros in something in an area that was this exposed. Actually, let's do it this way. But it's okay. And you are built so we can have you go like a so. And do I actually have any, let's grab this really quick. We're gonna grab our two by one, oh, no. our two by one that we can choose here. And you are going to go, need girders, okay. And you know what, let's take, 
this out while we're still working over here. Because we do want to grab parts to do that. We want that to be clear. And then when all of this is welded up, this room should actually be airtight. Go ahead and burn some of the plates that we're carrying. All right. And what we'll do is we'll put a light up here just so that we have some light in here. All right. And probably do, need to go ahead and close that off. And we'll probably put end up putting a light in the uh, down here at the floorboards or something. All right. And then what we'll do is I'm thinking. Hmm. Do we want to do this where we have two more of these blocks here, or even three of these blocks here? And then what we'll end up with is. Uh, we could actually put some forward firing like missile systems or something in. Or I could even take it back a layer and have, oh, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. So take this out, take that out, and we will put the block here and then we can mount forward firing uh, reloadables. Yeah, see, yeah. Uh, let's strip that back a level. We will do this. And we will go like so. I really want to mount something like this on pistons and have it basically be recessed, have the whole thing come out fire, retract, and then have like a blast orc over it. You're advertising some more. <laughs> right on. Alright, so what do y'all think so far? You like the design? Show you what she's, what she's looking like here. Now the nice thing is, is that even though the model extends past the block, this is non-collision, so when we land we won't be doing damage to it. The, uh, the collision block is on the emitter section here. Alright, so what parts do you actually use? You use a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and grab... Green only, huh? Let's see if we can pull the parts we need to make one of these. I'm going to throw all of the, the parts we are carrying back in here. Yeah, I've got insufficient space. I, I figured that, but let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and get these things finished so that we can get started on the actual build because this was a small <laughs> side jaunt. It wasn't meant to be the whole part of the whole episode here. <laughs> or the whole live stream, I should say. So what we're going to be doing after this is we're going to be working on a, uh, a hydrogen tank assembly that will attach to the side of this thing. There we go. So we have two, two heavy spinal lasers. Now, um, there's a secret 
to the spinal lasers. You can actually mount these things in line. So if I wanted to, I could extend this line out on both sides. Um, like I said, Krieg was saying that his is, I think, 12 of those blocks long. Uh, so it's like three or four sections. And what they do is that the, the barrel for the emitter, uh, where the beam ejects from, is actually in the dead center here, and they're slightly offset. So what will happen is that the shells basically don't collide with each other. So that's how he, he got that working. He was, he was giving us some of the technical details on it. If you want to actually know more about how it all works, talk to Krieg, and uh, he'll be able to explain it. Oh. And then for the sides there, we actually want more windows. We want the two by ones. I'm going to grab one, two, three, four. Oh, we need more bulletproof glass. I should have just done a shift control on that one. Come on. There you go. Tell you what, let's just hang out here while we uh, we wait for everything to rebuild. Go ahead and refill the tanks while we're here, standing here. That's three. All right. Thinking I'm going to go tint it on this one. So what do you think? Do you like it better with the with the window cuts? With the window cutouts like that? Or do you think it goes better like this? Let me know. Starting to look somewhat like a ship. <laughs> Thanks, Shades. Appreciate the support. Love you too. <laughs> I'm kind of torn. I'm, I'm, I am actually liking... I don't know. With the window cuts? See, the thing is, is that we're going to have... You know what? Nah. Hold it. We'll just do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Get these in here. Yeah, I think I do like it better with the uh, the windows. Well, once we have it all welded up, um, what, what what I'll do is I'll we'll revisit that. But that's basically what it's gonna, you know, try and cut down on some of the screen clutter for you. So what you'll end up with is this being solid. So it'll look basically like this when it's done. And I think... Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do that too. Let's grab... Whoa! Holy crap, we're out of interior plates. Alright, let's uh... Let's get you working on those, shall we? There. Yeah, we'll just go 10. It's not like we won't use them eventually. Even if it's just for ship repairs. Alright. Let's go and drop one there. I guess I could. Drop one there. Did I drop one over here too? No. Let's 
So we're going to have that set up. I have to get the mex packs, mex pack weapons on there, but let's see, let's see what we have in here for weapons. So this is mostly the vanilla stuff, the beam drill that we're, we still need to mount. Darth Biomech. Oh, we still have to mount the energy shields too. Crap, I forgot about those. Ion turret, defense turret. The <laughs> shocker launcher, God. Oh, let's see here. Inspired weapon civilian, offensive platform, defensive platform. All right, so to show you what these could look like. Oh, that might actually not be bad. Maybe, maybe. We'll try these out. Bring Rongo in. <laughs> I don't know if Rongo would actually play medieval engineers. I don't think he. I'm not sure he likes medieval engineers. I know he likes space engineers. I mean, I could be completely wrong on that. So. And like I said before, the idea is uh, steel plates, figures. Uh, can I get into... There we go. Uh, but yeah, it would be fun to, to drag Rongo into something like uh, Medieval Engineers. And then what we could do is if we want it to go a little bit silly, we could, is it this one? I don't remember, what does this thing look like? I don't remember the connector is on this, okay, it's on the front. Ah, <sighs> no, it's on the back. <laughs> Son of a... Alright, so it would be that way. If you wanted something with a little bit more bite on it, but, you know, we've got the big cannons up front. I'm not too worried about it. Because we could, if you really wanted to go crazy, we could do something with these guys. Like this. So if you want something just ridiculously hard hitting. No. Oh well. Grab the parts, Bob. Alright. There you go. Get the parts, yeah. Awesome. Alright, so I think we'll we'll leave it at that for some of the defensive weapons for right now. Oh. 
I want six of the generators, I know, right? Isn't everything pretty? Yes. There's a reason why Rongo is known as hashtag tourist. <laughs> I've seen you build stuff, Sharky. For those who don't know, Sharky does a lot of the uh, off-camera building whenever we need stuff done. You just basically point him in a direction and he kind of goes. Right. So we're going to do that. So we can go ahead and close that up. Let's get rid of that so we can see what we're doing up here. So I think we have basically the uh, the bulk of the ship planned, at least for the main the main body of it. So now we need to start working on this area which is going to be our nacelles which is basically most of our maneuvering is going to be on this portion uh, we are using the tiered thrusters so it's not quite such an issue hmm but I do want to figure out how do we want to do this we have a couple of different options Actually, which are we using the orange ones? I think we're using the orange ones, yeah. Lots of options here for, for parts. All right, so we did tier threes, I think. Are this tier threes or are those the angels? Yeah, they're tier threes. So what I'm thinking is we do something like this. Since they're tier threes, we shouldn't need many of them. But I want to have it set up so that we can actually get away with using the vanilla thrusters if we need to. So what we may end up doing is something like this. All right, so that gives us forwards. Ow. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh. Hey, Water Addicted, welcome to the mod, or welcome to the stream. Uh, that is actually a mod. It is the Nanobite, or Nanobite, the Nanobot, or Nanite, rather. Uh, no, Nanobite. Non Damn it, words are failing me today. Nanobot build and repair system. Um, that is one of the probably three mods that are pretty standard for me at this point. Um, I use that, easy inventory, and the passageway mods pretty much on all of my builds now. They're fairly common mods, so. Yeah, it's uh, lovingly known as Bob. As in Bob the Builder. Yeah. Makes the job much easier and less, much less tedious. I think I misplaced that. I think I went that forward. No. That one's offset back. Yeah, I think I'm going to move those forward. Ah, damn it. 
Bob picked up my uh, my corpse before I could get stuff, so now I have to figure out which cargo block is it in. Damn it. And I'm out of hydrogen. Okay, let's go heal really quick. So we're not we're not in immediate risk of dying. Let's <laughs> Hey, look at that. All right. We're gonna do our, get some health back here. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for uh, posting that link out there, Sharky. Appreciate it. As long as it was the right link. You never know with Sharky. He has got to be careful when he posts links, man. What in the... Alright, so we are going to do... Oh. Unknown signal. Right. So that's mostly done. That's mostly done. I'm still thinking I want to move these forward. And the nice thing is, is that Bob will also pick up parts that you drop like that. So the reason why I want to move this forward is I'm because the um, the hitbox for this thing extends out to the point where I wouldn't be able to put any type of cover o over the um, the cargo box, the cargo block. So by moving it forward, the engine itself becomes a bit of armor for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's better. You know what? I don't feel like dealing with it, so I'm gonna let Bob take it apart. So the nice thing about the, the mod, for those who don't know, is that you can actually use colors to tell it to ignore things or to grind things as well. So you can set color, custom colors and anything you paint with that color, the, uh, the welder will actually take apart for you as well. Yeah, like I said, just remember anything that you, any links that you get from Sharky comes with the uh, the caveat of I do not endorse it. <laughs> All right, steel plates. We do that. To there. To there. That one, two, three, and four. So I'm building out a, uh, a 
kind of like a a fairing or you know the beginnings of an cell, I should say. And that's gonna go there. So what'll happen? What we're gonna do is we're gonna have the thrusters here. I'm going to mount uh, the shield generators next to it, and then from there we'll have the uh, the lateral thrusters. And this is going to basically come forward and cover the thrusters on both the top and bottom sections. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and grab... We're going to do the large shield generators. I want that to go like so. Yeah, I think I'm going to move that back one. So basically like that. And then what that allows us to do is to have, uh, means I'm gonna have to take that off and bring it out one more, which is fine. I don't actually mind that too much. Yeah. Go ahead and get that out of there. And we will eventually wrap all of the uh, the armor around the whole thing so that it's all protected. Uh, feel bad now? About what? I never feel bad about taunting you. <laughs> For me to feel bad would mean I'd have to have a conscience, and I don't think anybody here believes that the panda has a conscience, so... <laughs> should be one block back. Let's make sure here. I want to make sure everything's lining up properly. Yeah, okay. I heard the message. What was it? Hey, KQ, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the community. Right, so we are going to definitely share some love with the, uh, the, new, the new community members. this and I want to say mm, it's not going to give me what I want though is it because I could do that and then oh, get back up there Bad time to turn off my my jetpack. So if we do, looking for a way to to blend this in here. And I'm thinking what we're gonna do is let's drop this out. Let's grab this block. that instead. Yeah, that, that'll work. 
And then we go like so. To wrap that around. And that opens us up to be able to do this. And then we can actually start tying this all together because this is going to continue to the wraparound on it. You see? So that should give you an idea of basically what we're looking to do with this. And then what I'll do here is I'm going to actually have it go like so. And we will go back that way. Uh, you know what? No, let's just go with the, uh, let's go with the half blocks. Actually, we'll see. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll I might change this out to something a little bit different. Okay. We'll take that off for now, but that at least get, should give you an idea of kind of what we're, we're going with here. I might take this piece out and then just bring this whole thing across. Uh, we'll see. Huge balls of steel. What are you talking about? It's not balls. See? Look. Not balls. Wings. Wings, damn it. I am actually going to sweep these forward, so once we have the, uh, the nacelles wrapped in here, we're going to texture this out so that it transitions over here into the body, which is why we have this big section of nothing connected to it. And then we'll have our lateral thrusters tucked away in there. At least that's the general idea. Alright. So, those. Let's grab these really quick. Let's see here if I remember correctly. So, the flux coils are recharged, capacitors are max level. Um because of the fact that I don't want to have to deal with the shields going down at all. Don't them that way or this way. I'm thinking I want them this way. Let's turn off the auto rotate, please. And we're going to do the same out here. Now we're actually not going to be able to finish these and uh, building these until we get into space because these require platinum. So, but until we have platinum, most of the ship's not going to work, which is why we need to build the hydrogen system to get this off the ground. That is one thing about doing a no uranium start. You basically have to uh, plan your systems a little bit better. All right, so that's gonna give us a ridiculous amount of shielding. And I may I may sneak a third one up in the, uh, the forward section somewhere. Ah, okay. So we're getting closer to being able to take this thing into space. Wrapped balls? No, they're not going to be wrapped balls, Sharky. <laughs> oh, Shade said that. Wow. No. Comment still stands, Shade. It's not going to be wrapped balls. <laughs> now, for the the folks that are wondering, why did I not put the co the flux coils on? Um, because the reactor that we're using is putting out five gigawatts of power. So 
So when everything is said and done, we should have enough power just off that reactor for our primary systems. And since we're building in more of a, a, a wing system over here, we're actually going to be able to put more reactors in. <laughs> so I'm going to put some small reactors. Some of the, uh, I don't know if I'm going to use the hydrogen. I might use the small hydrogen reactors. We'll see. But I'm going to I'm going to tuck some tuck some away in here. But this thing is a five gigawatt reactor. So love this reactor. I, I have fallen in love with the hydrogen reactor systems. Um, it's a great mod for if you're wanting to do something with hydrogen and not just straight up uranium all the time. And because it is a hydrogen based system, you do have to factor in how your, uh, your piping systems are going to work. <laughs> Great. I know exactly that clip that you're talking about there, Sharky. Thank you ever so much, buddy. All right. I'm thinking, where do we want to go from here? We want to bring, basically we want to do the same thing that we did there. So we're going to say, So that gives me an idea where I need to go with the uh, the direction on these. This is going to kind of wrap up here. I'm almost tempted to put windows in on this side. Just so you can see the uh, the shield components through there, I think I will. I think we're gonna do that. So I do apologize if, if I uh, go quiet again. I am just trying to figure out what I want to do here. And I might strip. Uh, I guess that's fine. That's fine. Because then we just do the number five. Do that. And then on this side, we do. So 
Something like that. And what we'll do is we'll start working this down to meet up with the rest of the ship. Um, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to tie it all together so that it comes out about in here. So for these, we just have to keep these two blocks clear uh, forward so that we don't do damage to the ship. But as long as you keep those two blocks open, your everything else works out. So. <laughs> His mic is active from startup until now. Oh, uh, yeah, he does have problems with his mic sometimes. We all do at different points in time, so. All right. Uh, and like I said, that does a partial wrap there. That gives us this space in here. And like I said, this is intention. This space is intentionally being left open. So I'm thinking. Let's see, those are the thrusters, right? I'm wondering if it might be an it might be a better idea to move this thruster back out one. Let's, let's turn that off so we can see what's going on in here. Cause now the reason why I'm thinking maybe move the thrusters again. Come on, let me in there. Come yeah, on, thank you. So the reason I'm thinking maybe move the thrusters, actually I could leave that one and just move this one forward another block. We could do that. That might not be bad. Is if I move this uh, forward a block, we'll be able to pipe directly in and have the reactors, have a reactor or reactors in line here. Let's see, which reactors do we have? I just don't have the resources for it. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm so trying to use this reactor. The reason I want to use this particular reactor, for those who haven't seen it yet, is it produces 120 gigawatts of power each. And I want to have a build where I'm using at least two of those and using almost all of that power. Oh, let's see. I could use these, or I think this is a two by, isn't, it? isn't this one too thick? No, it's not. It's one. Oh, I might be able to use this then. I might be able to use this. I'll probably put it on this side. Hmm. Definitely gives me something to think about. But yeah, this thing is just... I so want to use this in a build. Look at that monster of a reactor. Oh, so nice. Uh, there we go. Get rid of that. So this is the reactor that we're using right now on the ship. What are you? I think this is one of the really small... Yeah, these are the really small fusion reactors. I mean, that's not a bad design, though. This might actually be interesting to have actually out on the, uh, the face here. How would that look mounted over here? Let's take these out really quick and find out. I'm kind of curious. Because if we if we move this this thruster forward, we run 
basically our conduit out to here. Um, that was the wrong reactor. Did not mean to grab that one. Oh. We actually want this one. A little hydrogen. So what I'm thinking here now is that we put let's see, he would be in line here. And then we run something like that, something like that. I'm kind of cute. Oh, hello. We're almost out of hydrogen again. <laughs> Let's run inside for a second. Get ourselves recharged here. I do need to grab some more hydrogen. And for those who are curious where the hydrogen is coming from, um, Open this. Under this area here, we have a uh, basically like a little service area that goes down un into the stone under the ice. And in the bottom down there, we have a bunch of uh, hydrogen and oxygen tanks. Actually, do I have. I don't know if I have spectator. Nope, don't have spectator camera enabled. So uh, yeah, but basically it's buried under everything so that in case the base gets hit from anything, um, the fuel systems are, are okay. Thank you, Walt. Thank you, uh, Wartal. Appreciate it. Captain Grimm, how you doing? Yes, they are, uh, they are fantasy fusion reactors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're definitely fantasy hydrogen reactors. Um, so in order to process fuel for it, so for the, the folks who are not used or have not seen the hydrogen mod before, the hydrogen reactor. So in order to power this, this reactor uses liquid hydrogen. In order to produce liquid hydrogen, you, uh, you mine ice just like normal, and you have to have this little device here. This is an ice processor. The ice processor will give you a two to one ratio hydrogen to oxygen in liquid format in those containers. If you want to use the liquid as a gas, so let's say you have hydrogen thrusters or you want to fill your hydrogen tanks, things like that, you have to have the evaporators. So there's one specifically for hydrogen, one specifically for oxygen, and that will take the liquid form that you get out of the processor and revert it into a gas and then you can use it as normal for most other things. Um, these reactors, however, do use the liquid hydrogen as their fuel source. So what that means is that short term, most of your liquid hydrogen is going to go in the reactor, uh, but you can use it to fill hydrogen tanks and everything else. So. Thermodynamics! <laughs> Well, the way I look at it is, is that if we can have a jetpack, a, a ion-based jetpack that works in an atmosphere, um, I can turn a blind eye towards, you know, <laughs> the, the hydrogen reaction being super efficient. Oh, and it does put out a ridiculous amount of power comparatively. So the, um, the little... The large grid small reactor right here, this one, the Hyperion Reactor 1, puts out, I think, 60 megawatts. Let me check really quick. Yeah, 60 megawatts. Um, each of the reactors will have, it, have their own power output. Most of them are fairly reasonable. Um, the really big one that I want is not reasonable and is only balanced in the fact that it takes so much material in order to be able to use the thing. I mean, it, it's... I did the math. Just building the really big reactor takes over 330,000 silver ingots worth of material. And that's just the silver on one component. <laughs> that's not all of the components. Because uh, it requires something like 10,000 superconductors or something like something ridiculous like that. Actually, check it really quick. Uh, this thing. Yeah, so 
8,000 arc reactor components, 16,000 superconductors. You know, so it's it's not cheap. It, you know, it's definitely late game. If you have the resources to build this, power isn't really your concern anyway. So, to be fair. We would rather have otters and top hats. That would be actually be kind of cool. Have some kind of system set up where it was basically like the uh, a hamster wheel concept, except it was otters. Maybe have a, uh, a fluid system set up that captures the energy from the current as the otters swim through. It generates a little bit of electricity. And then you're basically flying around in a giant otter tank. That would actually be kind of awesome. Given the amount of mess that otters make, though, I would not want to be the one that has to clean up the tank. Yeah, see? Alright. So I think that is about going to do it for us for today. Oh! So we got a lot done. We didn't get done what I wanted to get done, and th there's a reason why I don't title my streams with what I'm trying to get done for the day, because I never achieve it. <laughs> but at least I'm honest about it. All right. So let's see who else is doing some space engineers. I'm going to pass the, the good times on to others. It's always nice to uh, go out and have some fun with the other folks that may be doing some space engineer stuff today. Sharky is probably po going ahead and posting all of those wonderful links. Oh, oh Dark Magic is doing Escape Mars. I think we're going to have to go visit. Um, yeah, we'll go, vis we'll go visit Dark. Dark Magic is another one of those fun guys to hang out with. So I am going to hand you all off to him. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did... Make sure you uh, hit those follows. Let me know that you're enjoying the content. If you want to join the community, you can find us over on the Discord side as well as over on YouTube. So you can find us over here. You can find us over on Twitter. I don't know if Sharky's posted all those yet or not. And if you are excuse me, interested in being on the Discord server, feel free to jump us over here. Run away! <laughs> anyway. I'm going to hand you off to Dark Magic. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you again. And as always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody.